Vocabulary words 6.1 challenge. I'm going to read through the words, the definitions, and then the sentences. Number one, boisterous. Boisterous means something is noisy and rowdy. It could be a group of kids. Cheerleaders are a very boisterous group. So an antonym opposite word would be quiet or calm. Two, capacity. Capacity is a noun. Um, it's the largest possible amount that can be contained. So like the capacity of um, the stadium seats 500 people. Two, or the capacity is the ability to do something. Some people have capacity to do different things. They can handle different things. So the auditorium is filled to capacity. Luckily, I have the capacity to stay cool in hot places. Three is maximum, which is the highest allowable amount. The maximum number of horses that could fit in the stable was three. Four, inept. This is an adjective. If somebody is described as inept, it means that they don't have the skill or they're clumsy. So Nina was completely inept at cooking a tasty meal. So an antonym or opposite word would be skilled or graceful. Restrain, if we restrain, we hold back from something. It was difficult for me to restrain from eating too much at the all-you-can-eat buffet. Six, commentary. Commentary is talking or explanation about something or it's someone's interpretation. So it's always talking about something. The president's speech was followed by a political commentary on the local news channel. So commentary again is just discussion about a topic. Seven, marvel. A marvel is a wonderful thing or an awesome sight. Um, so like a synonym would be like a wonder, a miracle. Yosemite National Park is a natural marvel that takes people's breath away daily. Eight, factor. A factor is a reason or a circumstance. Um, so think cause, a cause of something, a factor of something. One factor that convinced Sheila to take the job was the huge salary. Number nine, cumulative. If we describe something as being cumulative, it means it's increasing by adding one thing after another. So sometimes you might take, your teachers might say you're taking a cumulative test, which means you're taking a test that involves all of the skills that you've learned from the whole unit. The cumulative effect of not studying for any science test all year forced me to attend summer school to remedy the F. So again, when something's described as cumulative, it means it's getting larger, it's growing, it's increasing. 10 is intimidate, is a verb. If you intimidate someone, you frighten or threaten or scare them. Tanya always tries to intimidate Nancy before competitions by making fun of her skating ability, tripping her intentionally, and hiding her outfits. Ten, 11 is painstaking, which is an adjective. If we describe something as painstaking, it means um, you're really careful about it. You take a lot of care or trouble when you're doing it. So Dr. Zeno performed a painstaking exam of the baby looking for what could be causing his pain and constant crying. So it's, again, it's when you are doing something with care. So antonyms, careless, and sloppy. 12 is anguish. If somebody is feeling, is in anguish, it's a feeling. It's, they are experiencing extreme suffering or pain. The anguish that Thomas felt from the death of his mother was overwhelming and kept him from going to work for a year. 13 is unanimous, is an adjective. When they're, everybody, unanimous is describing something, typically like a decision. It means everybody agrees. Everyone's on the same page and they all agreed. It was a unanimous decision by the students to make summer vacation six months long. So your parents might unanimously decide that you can go on vacation. It means that they both agreed. 
14 is continuous. When something is continuous, it is without interruption or end, so it just keeps going. The continuous pounding of the hammers from the construction site next door made it impossible for the baby to take a nap. Last one, 15, erupt. Erupt is to burst, explode, or release suddenly. Vincent was convinced that the pimple on his face was going to erupt and gross out his friends at the lunch table. That's lovely. All right, so when you are working through this packet, I wanna quickly preview what you will be doing. Um, 1D fixed the mistake. They put the wrong word in the sentence. You need to figure out which word belongs and write the correct word on the line. The next part on 1E, pick the winner. Pay attention to the directions here because it's very important that you do. You are going to circle the word that fits in the sentence and then the word that you did not circle you are going to write a sentence on the line using that word. So again, let me say that again. Circle the word that belongs, that fit, finishes this sentence. Use the other word in a sentence below. Um, 1F, draw the relationship. Each vocab word has a match. The match is either its synonym, a word with the same meaning, or it's the opposite. It's an antonym meaning. So for example, boisterous is one of our vocab words. Okay, we would go back. Boisterous means noisy and rowdy. Hmm, which word either has the same meaning or opposite meaning? Just looking through this list, calm, the opposite of boisterous is calm. So I'm going to draw a line from boisterous to calm. That's my match. Um, factor. I'm thinking about factor. I'm going to go back. Factor means a reason or circumstance. So look right there is the word reason, my synonym. So I'm going to draw a line between these two. All right, next up um, you have a passage with questions that's self-explanatory and then pay, the last page um, just answer the questions. Um, if you need help at any step of this packet, please let me know. Good luck.